Hello, everybody. Good morning to you. Well, as we know, week one finally officially in the books for the NFL season. Um, but the season has gotten off to an interesting start in more ways than one. It's not just what we're seeing on the field, but also off the field. Uh, obviously, we've been talking. We, we had it yesterday. Tyreek Hill uh, got himself pulled over on the way to his game on Sunday in Miami. Uh, he was cited for reckless driving after speeding, but the whole situation seemed to have gone completely awry. Uh, a lot of people are very upset about what happened. Uh, but before we talk about what happened, let's just show you, because just yesterday, Miami-Dade police released body cam footage from the incident. About 105 minutes of body cam footage. So we were able to see from beginning to end what exactly happened. So let's give you a look at a couple of minutes of that. Hey, keep your window down. Keep your window down. I'm gonna get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. Give me, give me your ass. Get out of the car. Give me your ass. We'll break that freaking window. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. We're not playing this game. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What part of Donald do you understand? Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting arrested. I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting out, bro. God damn, twin. When we tell you to do something, you do it. I'm you understand? Out. I'm getting out, You bro. understand? Not what you want, but I'm, what we tell you. I'm getting You're out. You're confused. I'm getting out, bro. Too late. Chill, bro. Too late. All right, bro. Take Too this L, bro. Do what you got to do, bro. We are. We will. Good, good, bro. It hey, is good. Hey, Drew. Hey. Don't worry about it. I hung up the phone. You stop crying. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Don't move. Good. Bro, you beating on my window like you crazy. Okay, so obviously a lot occurred in that video. Uh, I'm going to try to break it down uh, for everybody. Uh, you saw Tyreek Hill get pulled over. A police officer approaches his car, knocks on his window. Tyreek Hill rolls the window down. Uh, but Tyreek Hill immediately got upset that the cop was knocking on his window. You know, why are you touching my window like that? Uh, and then he proceeds when the officer is still in the middle of talking to him to roll the window back up. The officer then proceeds to knock on the window some more, a little bit more aggressively, uh, a little louder, you can tell. Uh, and he says, you need to keep your window, window down. You need to keep your window down. Uh, you do see Tyreek Hill being combative. He doesn't want to roll his window down. He's talking back to the officer, ignoring the orders to keep the window down. And then that's where it escalated, clearly. The officer was like, you need to keep your window down or we're going to get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, just get out of the car. Yanks him very violently out of the car, has him thrown on the ground. Uh, and then from there, you see him being cuffed. Um, there's a little bit of taunting. Um, Tyreek Hill saying, do what you got to do, arrest me, arrest me. So there was also a line, I wasn't able to hear it. I, I listened to it a couple of times. Uh, Ian Rappaport actually reported on it. Um, he's from the NFL Network. He said that you could hear Tyreek Hill saying before he was thrown to the ground, hold on, I'm going to sit, I just had surgery. Uh, I didn't hear that. I tried to listen for it, but I couldn't exactly hear that. But it could have been said. It might not have been said. Bottom line is, I really think this situation was handled on both sides improperly. Uh, I think Tyreek Hill probably should have just obeyed officer's order, orders, rolled down his window, which we all know is, is is pretty, you know, case in point when you get pulled over, you roll your window down. I mean, that's not something that ever changes when there's a traffic stop. Uh, keep your window rolled down. And then if the officer needs to see license register, you know, who knows what direction it could have gone in. Uh, but the fact that Tyreek was immediately combative probably put 
the officers on a different level where they thought they needed to react uh, in a different manner. So I think Tyreek Hill definitely should have handled this differently. I think if he probably would have handled it differently to begin with, the officers likely would have taken a different direction. Though, that being said, uh, I do think that the officers escalated this to a point it didn't need to go to. I understand that Tyreek Hill was being combative, and that's not something that I think can be disputed. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is, is he was just sitting in his car, and I have to imagine the officers knew exactly who Tyreek Hill was. Not to say that any excuses should be made uh, based on a person's celebrity, but the officers, I would have to say, without a doubt, knew that this was Tyreek Hill on his way to the game. So the fact that then they didn't really, you know, once they say, you know what, as a matter of fact, get out of the car and then just pulled him out with the aggression that they did, which realistically probably could have hurt him if they pulled him uh, a certain type of way, you know, maybe dislocated a shoulder. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and then they immediately pull, pull him out and, and throw him on the ground. That to me was too much. I don't think that needed to happen. Again, I think that officers have certain guidelines that they follow in Tyreek Hill was not being, um, you know, he wasn't falling in line with what they were asking him to do. So I understand that they then resorted probably to, to a different course of action. But I think both sides uh, just handled it improperly. Uh, I think that a lot of people are going to be upset about what they saw, but I think people have a right to be upset for both sides, uh, for how Tyreek Hill handled himself and how the police officers handled themselves. I know that one of the officers, according to the Miami-Dade Police, uh, Police Department, was already put on, put on administrative duties. I don't know which one it was, but I would have to imagine it was probably the one that pulled him out of the car, the one that was front and center in that body cam footage. Uh, I have to imagine he was the one who was probably put on administrative duties as he was the one leading the efforts there. Um, but yeah, it's... It's a real shame to see. Uh, people are very upset about it, obviously, as they should be. Uh, especially this isn't something you would imagine to happen on game day, right? This is supposed to be week one of the NFL season. Players getting to reunite with all of their, their fellow teammates for the first time on a, on a game day, um, after the off season and to have it start off on this foot, uh, is very, very sad. And the, Dolphins have put out a statement uh, in regards to what happens in this quote. We are saddened by the overly aggressive and violent conduct directed towards Tyree Kill, Calais Campbell and Johnu Smith, which I'll get to those other two players in just a second, uh, by police officers before yesterday's game. It is both maddening and heartbreaking to watch the very people we trust to protect our community use such unnecessary force and hostility towards these players. Yet it is also a reminder that not every situation like this ends in peace, as we are grateful this one did. We are proud to have a strong and positive relationship with the Miami-Dade Police Department and other law enforcement agencies and recognize that the vast majority of officers do serve the community with the utmost character and desire to protect all citizens. However, as is on full display in the videos released tonight, there are some officers who make their res who mistake their responsibility and commitment to serve with misguided power. While we commend M D P D for taking the right and necessary action to quickly release this footage. We also urge them to take equally swift and strong action against the officers who enraged in such despicable behavior. Again, I think the statement was a nice sent sentiment. I do agree that I think there was excessive force used here by the officers. Uh, but I do think that the Miami Dolphins probably should have just quickly addressed, you know, we have spoken to Tyreek Hill, urged him to cooperate with officers right off the bat a bit more because you can't ignore the fact that he didn't listen to officers orders. I mean, that is something that police officers have a job to do and you don't know. I mean, Tyree kill is one situation, right? Obviously I don't think Tyree kill would have resorted to any type of violence. I think that he was just being a bit obstinate. Uh, you know, this isn't what he expected to run into on the way to the stadium. But there are probably some people that the Miami-Dade police officers have pulled over that, upon being obstinate, also have then shown violence in return. Maybe they have a gun in the car or maybe they're shouting out obscenities or threatening the officers where then the officers feel like they need to take 
swifter action and in turn to that more aggressive stance. So you got to look at it from both sides. Uh, but also what needs to be recognized is the fact that Tyree Kill wasn't the only one that ran into trouble with the Miami-Dade police on the way to the stadium. Calais Campbell, who is a great guy. Um, I've had a couple of times that I've been able to interact with him. He's a, a former winner of the Walter Payton Award, um, which also just shows the type of character that he has as an NFL player. Uh, it was revealed after the game he was also put into handcuffs, with cops telling him, because he pulled over to try and defuse the situation that was occurring between Tyreek Hill and the police officers. So he pulled over. He was put in handcuffs with cops telling him he wasn't being arrested, but cited for his involvement. And here is what Campbell told reporters in the postgame press conference, quote, I think it was a bit extreme and definitely unnecessary. Definitely was a terrible way to start a ball game. Adversity we faced there. I was driving to the game. The lane I'm in is blocked. I see Tyreek in handcuffs. I'd seen, I feel like excessive force. So I get out of the car to kind of just try to de-escalate the situation. And I think the officer just, I don't know why he felt the need to put me in handcuffs, but it is what it is. Disobeying a direct order. I guess I wasn't. He said I was too close to the scene. And then I think he said something about me not moving my car in time. I don't know. He told me later I could stand 25 feet away. That's fine. I was definitely further than 25 feet away when it happened. Not only that, but also John o. Smith, another teammate of the two of these guys uh, for the Miami Dolphins, he was also uh, involved somehow in some type of interaction with the police. I believe he also pulled over to try and de-escalate the situation or at least saw that one or even two of his teammates at that point were having an interaction with police, and he also pulled over. There's not so many details involving the interaction of Johnny Smith with the police department, but I also know that there was some type of interaction there. I don't know if he was put in cuffs or, or what the situation was, but uh, there was some type of, of confrontation with Johnny Smith as well. Um, but Tyreek Hill, obviously, uh, already speaking out about this yesterday in the postgame press conference, he also made a couple statements. One, you know, I would be a police officer if I wasn't an NFL player, uh, citing how he would handle situations like these differently, knowing many people who have been in his situation who have been mistreated by police. Uh, again, I'm not saying Tyreek Hill was totally mistreated. I think that the way it escalated, yes, I, I do not agree with that. I think the fact that he was thrown out of the car on the ground did not need to happen. Uh, but I do think that, again, I, I keep saying this over and over, but uh, you know, the point still stands. Both sides could have handled it differently. Uh, but Tyreek Hill did make a good point. What if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? Um, that is a good point because the fact that this situation was handled by the police department in the manner that it was, full transparency, it seems, up to this point, body cam footage being released a day after, generally you do not see things happening that quickly when it comes to situations dealing with the police, uh, no matter who it is that... Uh, was under arrest or detained. Uh, but it seems like they are cooperating because this is such a high profile case. And this isn't going to go away, unfortunately. I think the Miami Dade Police Department is going to get a lot of flack for this. And I'm not so much sure what type of, you know, feedback Tyreek Hill is going to get from his team moving forward or if there has already been some behind closed doors. But, um, an unfortunate situation and not a great way to kick off the NFL season. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. As you know, the Woke Sports Media is in shambles and OutKick is on top. So make sure you're tuning into my show, OutKick the Morning, for your fill of sports, pop culture, politics, and everything in between. For more original content, make sure you're clicking here. And also make sure you're subscribing by clicking here. Everybody, thanks for watching. Catch more later.